Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brandon here with the New Balance Fuel Cell Echo. And today we're gonna to be covering all the aspects of it, the lockdown, the fit, the upper, the weight, the drop, the road feel, the heel slippage, everything. So, stay tuned. All right guys, so I've ran the shoe about four times and I gotta tell you, it's been pretty dang good. It does what it's supposed to do for its price point. It comes in at $99. So this is a huge bargain of a shoe. You're getting um, fuel cell midsole throughout the entire midsole, which I don't know if you saw my last video on the uh, fuel cell Rebel, which has been one of my favorite shoes of the year. Um, you can go ahead and watch it up there. I'll put a little link for you. But overall, this shoe um, it has is made for a completely different runner than the fuel cell Rebel. So we'll go over a couple of those things here. But you're getting that fuel cell midsole, that responsiveness, that what I called it in the past is that that piston-like response that's gonna push you off the ground. Um, this midsole is gonna give it to you for $99. You can't really beat it at that price, so I would go ahead and pick one up just off of having that material and at that price point. So, let's get into the shoe. Um, like I said, I've been in it about four or five times. I've done, I've, or I've found that it shines the most when you're running anywhere from like three to eight miles. This is not your long, long mile training shoe. This is not a fast racing shoe. This is a daily trainer to get you from like, to get your miles in, to get your miles in. That's what this is for. This is the type of shoe that you want to wear out. You can wear it in the middle of the day. You can leave work. You can continue to go out and get your daily miles in where you're not having those really long days. This is the perfect shoe because not only does it look good, but it's also just giving you what you need. So in terms of weight, the shoe comes in around 10 ounces or so. I think 10.9 ounces. Um, so it's not the lightest shoe in the world, but it's also not super heavy. It's just kind of right in the middle. It has a full rubber outsole, so that's probably adding a little bit to the weight. But the rubber outsole, I feel like it, it does a really good job of traction. I kind of shuffled back and forth like a basketball move just to really try the, the lateral support out when I was running. Obviously, you wouldn't be doing that when you're running out and taking corners. Um, but just doing that, you can hear the squeakiness like a basketball shoe when you're in like concrete. It is really grippy outsole that really just, I don't know, it feels like it gets you going faster because of how grippy it is. Um, one concern I have with the outsole is that it wraps up here into the heel and usually, I don't know, as runners we do the super unscientific test where we squish down the heel, we're like, yeah, good cushion, like it's really going, did a lot with boost. With this one, I immediately went to try that when I put the shoe on and of course there was not any give and I was like, how's that gonna affect me? But at the end of the day, this is a six millimeter drop shoe so it's really specialized for runners who are more in their mid to forefoot. If you're striking the heel, um, I mean, you, you shouldn't be in this shoe because this is a six millimeter drop shoe. If you are a heel striker, you should be, or you should prefer to be, I think, in a shoe that has a higher drop because you're gonna be hitting on the heel and that cushion's gonna absorb. So when you're in your daily walking, like I said, that um, fuel cell midsole is really gonna respond. But when you're running, you wanna stay on the front of this shoe. I found that this was not a problem at all when I was running, but sticking with the heel, we see that you have a TPU heel counter. I think it's really well anatomically designed for your heel to fit in. And guess what, they have this little pull tab here so you can pull up. So the whole heel is completely reflective. You're gonna be seen at night. Um, most shoes have a little strip. The entire heel counter is laced with that 3M technology, or it's probably 3M, and it's reflective. Um, so kind of working our way up this way of the shoe. We have the booty construction. Uh, does what it's supposed to do, but here, the knit kind of comes together right where your Achilles is, which it does create a little bit of a hot spot. I would say that if you're gonna run in the shoe, get a, sh a sock that's cut right above the booty construction because it's still gonna hug really tight on your ankle and feel really good, but you don't wanna have that hot spot. So, along with the upper, we have great lockdown because the tongue is sewn into the upper, so you're really not going anywhere in, the, uh, in your lateral support like I mentioned earlier. When you're taking your corners, this does fine. You're not flying off the shelf of this shoe. You're not gonna roll an ankle. You can take those corners quick if you have to, especially if you're doing city block running. Um, but yeah, this shoe felt great. Like I said, it has a really grippy outsole, which really just kind of gets you going like a fast tire because like I said, it's, it's really grippy. I really like that about this. And then I can't emphasize enough the full fuel cell midsole technology that they've implemented for $99. So, I mean, 
I don't know what other implementations are gonna continue to come out, but every implementation of the fuel cell midsole that they've had has been at a higher price point and has been for a very specialized type of run for a performance run. This is your daily training fuel cell midsole shoe. So if you're looking for something that you don't wanna wear down quite as fast, Go with this shoe because it has the full rubber outsole. It's gonna last you a really long time. I don't see this wearing down anytime soon. It's super well constructed. It feels good on your foot. And yeah, you guys should go ahead and check this out. If you're a VIP with Roadrunner Sports, you can actually get this shoe right now. For everybody else, unfortunately, you have to wait until September 26th or 27th, I believe. But yeah, if you are a VIP, go ahead and snag this now. Try it out. Take advantage of our 90-day perfect fit guarantee. If it doesn't work out for you, go ahead and send it back. You know what we do. If it doesn't work out for you, we'll get a better shoe that fits your needs. So, I think that works out perfectly. I mean, this is the Fuel Cell Echo. And, um, yeah, I'll echo my statements again. Check this shoe out. All right, see ya.